Hallo. Hallo, hallo. Alright. The topic of today of this professionally made video is three things you could learn from Frank Fazetta. Frank Fazetta teaches you art. So, what are the three things we would like to learn and hopefully we could apply to our work today. So the first thing about, uh, there's a different piece in the blog post, but I'll just use this one because the, the same stuff applies, right? So the first thing that we talk about is the composition. So he usually does a lot of like ballsy compositions like this one, right? This is technically a huge square, a huge square, right? How educated I am, how educated I am. A huge triangle in front of a, in front of the canvas, which is as strong as possible, right? So why do we pay attention to these, these shapes? So technically, we evolved from Stone Age, right? So if you're looking for a place to stay, in a rainy stormy day and stuff rolls down, rocks and rocks and trees fall down. You probably want a really safe place to stay, right? So shapes like triangles, squares, rectangles, like they bear a lot of weight, right? They probably won't fall down that easily. So apparently we lived in those and the ones who didn't died out. So that's why we are attracted to strong forms. So rule one, strong forms. Rule number two, contrast. Ah, two value structure system, as I called it. So if you look at this piece right here, this is technically two values, right? You got a really black part here and technically white here which makes it really clear, really readable, really strong message. Like a good painting or a good piece of art just does one thing and other things help it, serve it, serve your one purpose, one narrative. The one narrative here is probably like swing, swinging of the X, right? This motion, Conan, this guy here, is all you want to look at. Which brings us to our third point. The third point is um, eye flow direction. So what would we look at if we look at this piece? So the first read is right here, Conan himself. Um, there's not much else you would look at, right? He's the only guy standing out within this line. So you look at him and then your eyes will naturally flow flow around the picture enjoying different details and then eventually you will roll back to the main focus right you look at him again and then it invites you to look at the other things you won't you probably won't look at the sky because it's not interesting although like there's a bird there's birds here probably you'll have one look like this is how your eye moves probably like this around the sky once and then you go back to him uh, even this line look at this these are all lines leading to run narrative every line leads to your main character right so after the day remember these three these three things and try to apply it to your art so number one Strong ballsy composition, right? Number one. Number two. Two value structure, right? Strong value, strongest contrast possible. And the third point. Art direction. Control the eye of your readers, right? So if you're interested in looking at my example, I actually did 
uh, my study this way today. So uh, look at the blog post below. I will have the link down there. So that's it. Hopefully you learned something today. I certainly did. So I certainly did. Like how convincing it is. All right. I'll see you. Goodbye.